hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on November 1st, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to a full world update brought to you by Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Looking at our sun today, the last 48 hours showing outgoing sunspot and as well an incoming sunspot. Now this one here in the last few images did project a CME small flare if possible I'm not really sure here we're gonna have to see in the next few images but thank you solar dynamics observatory looking here now at the incoming activity sunspot region in northern and southern moving in outgoing region here Looking here, 511 angstroms, you can see the coronal hole developing from the south and moving equatorial. And here we're able to see the heliosphere being affected fully by the outgoing sunspot and the incoming activity. So stay safe, and stay aware and prepared, and thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to smash that like button, help support this video, it really helps in the YouTube recommendations. And as well, hit that notification bell so you don't miss an update. Looking here at your Enlil Spiral Space Prediction app, and you can see there is a lot of incoming activity heading our way. That red is on its way to the green dot, which is us. This is all the sun activity being projected. And we are the little green dot ahead of that blue stream about to be invaded by this space weather looking here at Lasco 2 image just to show the small snap crackle that happened in the last images here at Lasco 2 so there definitely was a CME or a flare one of the two stay tuned to the do and I'm sure that we'll be looking at images in the next live stream and again thanks so much for joining the live streams too a lot of great friends and family in there meeting all sorts of people, sharing all sorts of stories. Looking here, real-time solar wind, as we are steady at about 350 kilometers per second after coming down from a spike of about 650 kilometers per second a week ago. And we had an increase uh, in extreme weather around the world as Super Typhoon Johnny ravaged the Philippines. But we are steady now and slowing down to what 347 kilometers per second get a quick look here at our Schumann resonance for today a power of 13 still just a quiet hum or a buzz around the world a lot of people waiting for things to happen feeling like something big is coming let's have a look at the last earthquakes for the last 48 hours I should know this sorry this is the last 24 hours most recent here 2.6 Puerto Rico at 2.5 lots of minor rumbles still there today 5.2 recorded last night Costa Rica 4.4 there in Mexico 2.6 recorded here in Alabama 2.5 Oklahoma 2.7 in Texas as well 2.8 and a 3.1 and as well with the border with Canada here 2.6 Lincoln Montana and as well Stanley Idaho a bit concerning with these earthquakes all around Yellowstone recently stay tuned to the volcanic activity report coming tonight 4.6 here in Wales Alaska and again we have a new volcano which we're going to be talking about in this video and as well more in depth tonight with the volcanic activity report in this region here there has been a lot of release of pressure and it came in the way of a volcano so stay tuned looking here across the west pacific 4.6 japan 5.7 here in uh, timor latte and as well papua new guinea with a 4.5 quiet all across the tonga region for the last 24 hours 4.6 here carlsberg ridge today 4.3 Kyrgyzstan 
And as well, the minor aftershocks continue in Greece after that large 7.0 rattled and destroyed a lot of buildings. 4.6 here reported in Croatia. That's pretty rare as well. Overlooking South America, 4.0 here in Calama, Chile. And as well, 4.3 in San Antonio, Argentina. Now into the Antarctic plate. Shetland Islands with a 4.7 and a 4.8. And as well, a 5.1 here, South Sandwich Islands. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes and very busy. Very busy. Let's have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes. As we're still seeing a lot of deep earthquakes in the Tonga region. And it seems very, very quiet across North America right now. A lot of action, Central America, Atlantic plate moving into the African plate. Large 7.0 in Greece. A lot of pressure along the Northern Hemisphere right now. Even moving up into Greenland here. A couple earthquakes in the North Pole region. This is the last seven days for earthquakes. So stay aware and prepared. These deep earthquakes are starting to increase again. And a very, very quiet, concerning Midwestern United States. Stay aware and prepared. And just have a plan. Be ready, everyone, because we are waiting for that big release. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes around the world in all disasters. And we do have three tropical storms that are spinning across the planet right now. We did have Super Typhoon Johnny, which is now downgraded to a tropical one depression. Thank Lord. But it did leave quite a swell and destruction across the Philippines. As well, we have Tropical Storm at Sani, who is heading right behind it as a category two and we could see that increase to a category four as well thoughts and prayers going out to cambodia and thailand landslides and floods already and now you've got a tropical storm on your doorstep and quite possibly another one moving across to the atlantic in central america and just north of colombia we do have another tropical storm forming there tropical storm eta who is heading westward into Nicaragua and Honduras. But this could jog north into the Gulf. We're going to be keeping an eye on that over the next 12 hours. That could get trapped in the Gulf and then head towards Texas. So stay aware and prepared. Stay tuned to the Morning Dew. A lot of things are changing across the Northern Hemisphere. Huge, huge low pressure systems. Look at the size of this one here in the Pacific vigorous strong winds a lot of moisture heading into the coast bringing wintry conditions across the northern bc and la nina conditions across the upper midwest united states and western canada and it's going to be very interesting to watch the five-day forecast here so stay tuned most recent volcanoes being updated, Copahu, as well, Ebico, uh, Sabancaya in Peru, Tocono in Indonesia, Popo in Mexico, and uh, Nova Rapta, United States. Now, this is the volcano I was talking about that helped release a lot of the pressure in Alaska. Nova Rapta, United States, and Man Oh Man. I'm going to be looking into that later. Stay tuned to the Volcanic Activity Report coming tonight. It's about nine volcanoes being updated today for eruptions. Stay safe, stay aware, prepared. God bless humanity. And thank you so much. If you're still watching, thank you. And God bless. Don't forget to smash that like button. I appreciate you. There's a lot going on on our planet. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteo Mike. Starting out here overlooking home base Calgary, Alberta. As Yeah, we've got some pretty mild temperatures right now as it's what 13 degrees today celsius 
And over the next five, couple days, it's going to continue as Pacific uh, low pressure system keeps fueling in all of the equatorial moisture, La Nina bringing in a lot of rain. Wintry conditions cross northern BC and into the Yukon, but still very dry across the plains. Most of the systems staying northward, but later in the week, five day forecast, things will change. Big low pressure system coming from Alaska going to bring a lot of cold weather with it across eastern canada watch for a lot of rain moving in this week and as well wintry conditions across quebec and things will warm up across eastern canada in the long range forecast and it's just very interesting to see like wow the low pressure systems go straight to greenland in my three years of broadcasting on youtube i've not seen the systems do this this is not right. And we've seen three tropical systems head there this season. Look at the size of this low pressure system in the Pacific. So much going on, guys. So stay aware and prepared. Here's a five-day forecast looking at Tropical Storm Ida. Now, it shows it heading straight west in a slight jog northwest. If that thing gets trapped in the Gulf, it will be heading to Texas. Stay safe. Stay tuned. Overlooking South America, not too much to talk about except daily evaporation rains, heavier towards Venezuela and Colombia, and as well a low pressure system here affecting southern Argentina. Same with Africa, not too much to talk about. Daily evaporation rains heavier east towards Sudan, and as well a low pressure system here coming out out of South Africa later in the week will bring a lot of rain. Low pressure system in the Mediterranean still trying to jog eastward will bring some rain into Kuwait and parts of West Indies. East Indies staying dry and starting to cool off, believe it or not. Overlooking Europe, huge low pressure system affecting most of Northern Europe, Eastern Finland towards Ireland, high pressure ridge for the UK, and then later in the week, watch for another low pressure system to invade there. Other than that, no tropical storms, uh, sorry, no areas of interest for tropical storms in the Atlantic, and only the two tropical storms here in the Pacific for now. We know a lot can change, even just overnight. Overlooking Australia, dry across most of the continent. Low pressure system here affecting eastern seaboard towards Sydney later in the week. I'm gonna leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, and man oh man, our planet is changing. And so are we. We have to evolve, come together now, share together now, and love. So bless you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. Prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye. And don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.